If you haven't heard, Martin Guitars has a new CEO, and with that comes a new CEO guitar. Today we're going to tell you about the CEO 10, limited edition. Stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. My name is Cooper Greenberg. They call me the Coop Dog sometimes. Coop DeVille. Yeah. We're here with Alamo Music in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you want to support the channel, visit our Spring Store link below for custom swag and check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional. Yeah, Coop DeVille. What, is, what was your nickname for me? Uh, usually when I'm like, Chris is coming down, I say uh, like Grizz McGee. I like to soften the C's into G's, or sometimes Christmas tree. Yeah, like that. Um, you know, sometimes just Chris. What's with the Grizz? Am I really bearish? No, it's more just like, <laughs> it's just like the Grizz, you know? I lost my phone at the gym, and it, on the front was a bear lifting weights, and the person was like, oh, I could never figure out whose phone this is. I was like, I don't know how to take that. Anyways, we have a guitar to talk about. So this is the Martin CEO 10 mm -hmm. um, and it is for a new CEO so the CEO line of guitars has been going for a bit uh, and usually it's very cool limited editions sometimes not always yeah. um, guitars that have special features that are designed by the CEO of Martin and for a long long time that's been Chris Martin but recently he's moved to an advisory role and they have a new CEO in Thomas Ripsom. The and Riptide, as we I, I yeah, call him behind the The Riptide, scene. yeah. He doesn't know that yet. Well, maybe he knows it now. I also um, Grizz. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Riptide. So, uh, and I don't know if you have seen much uh, from Thomas or about Thomas. I was curious when he was named CEO, and I think like a lot of people, I'm like, who is this industry outsider coming into Martin? Is this just like some bank guy? Yeah. And um, <clears throat> I had a chance to listen to... And I, I plug this all the time. You guys should definitely subscribe. There's a great podcast, The Fretboard Journal, and they did an interview uh, with Thomas. And I listened to the whole interview, and I was really pleasantly surprised um, about his musical background and how he ended up at Martin. Um, so, yeah, I'm encouraged. And, you know, if he's helping to put stuff like this together, good signs. All yeah, I I, Chris sent me the podcast. I listened to it on a long drive to Dallas. And... Uh, usually stuff about like industry, it's like, eh, mm -hmm. I'm more interested in hearing people talk about the guitars themselves. But it was a great podcast. I, I dug it. I think he sounds cool. He's a player. He's built guitars. So, and he's like a player too. Yeah. Like play a play a riptide. Well, and Verdun Verlindy does a great podcast. So oh, yeah. definitely subscribe. So here we go. This is um, the CEO 10. And I'm going to warn you right now, if you go to uh, Martin's website, this is going to be listed as discontinued. The reason is because basically it was limited to 100. So it's not a guitar that's in production. They made 100. That's it. This is number 67. 67. So. Summer of Love, uh, 1967. <laughs> so yeah, we they announced this a while back. It took until this week. Um, I mean, it had to be last NAM, like you know, yeah. NAM before last, that we heard about it, and then we went through this whole thing of. You get this many allocated. Oh, wait, we're not sure if we're going to make that many. Also, you just get one, and we tried to get as many as possible. We got the CEO 10. It, the rest doesn't matter. It's, it's here. Fun. It's here. Um, and I f you think about that like that's a year and a half ago or so, and we got number 67. So I'm sure they'll be rolling out slowly, but this is probably the only one we're going to get. Yep. Um, and it's a good-looking guitar. Uh I saw the pictures of it, as did Chris. I liked. I was like, they're doing wood pit guard. That's wood binding in the top. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it kind of defeats the purpose, but I like the design. I mean, you put a clear pit guard loose in case. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. So give me the scoop on this. I think everybody probably knows the CEO Seven. I mm -hmm. think that's like the the popular one. Little Addy top slope shoal dubby. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm in the nicknames game today. Um, <laughs> And I like the CEO 7. We have some in the store right now. CEO 10, I think, is probably better than the CEO 9, which I wasn't super crazy about. Okay. Um, did you like that guitar? Yeah, I like the CEO 7 better. Yeah. But this one's cool, so give me the scoop. So here's the scoop, Coop. It is a triple O, or as you'd like to say, three Um, And it has Guatemalan <clears throat> rosewood back and sides. 
This has been the mm. premium rosewood that they've been featuring on a lot of high-end guitars. It is all bound in beautiful flamed maple. And if you watch our channel, you know we like wood that's binding, like. so that's yeah. great. Uh, the back that you were showing just a second ago, that's 45 style. Um, little mosaic? Yep, yeah, mosaic back there. The top is an FSC certified European spruce top. And so that's basically means that it's been uh, forested responsibly um, in order to you know, harvest this wood and ensure that it is done in a responsible manner, uh, responsible forestry practices. So Which I feel like that's based on that podcast, something that Mr. Ripsum is pretty dialed in with the yeah. sustainability and using the right stuff that has availability and sourcing it properly. Well, when it comes to, you know, responsible forestry, FSC stuff, you know, Taylor and Martin have both been, you know, I would say the most vocal yeah. builders about uh, supporting that as far as the big builders are concerned. Um, so you've got the spruce top, you've got a night, I think it's the 37 amber burst finish, um, a floral inlay on the wood pick guard, and You've got this inlay pattern a echoed here. snowflake kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, a little snowflake there. Are those bone? They are bone. Drop in, uh, compensated saddle. And then going up the neck, see some abalone Foden. A little Foden style, which, again, maple and Foden, that's a, that's a us thing. Winning we combination. That. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe he's just been like seeing what we do and go, hey, these guys know yeah. what they're doing. We're so, the CEO now. <laughs> Guatemalan. Uh, rosewood headstock with what they describe as just a custom inlay and I think it's because it's like the torch with the logo yeah, which is cool. Uh, which is cool all done in abalone also this is a genuine mahogany neck not a no select, select hardwood, hardwood um, with those open gear gold Waverly Waverly tuners um, first thing I noticed playing it different neck the neck. So the neck is the vintage deluxe. deluxe neck. It's asymmetrical and it plays really nice. Yeah, so if you're a fan of your modern deluxes, you will feel right at home with this neck. Um, really gorgeously built guitar. Looks like something that they would have like on the custom wall at NAMM, you know. Um, we've been getting a lot of requests for bursts recently, mm -hmm. like the 35 sunburst, the amber tone. All Strangely. That. Which was never a thing. No, it's right. It's you know. kind of like um, you know, you've mentioned uh, in another video we were shooting about like body shapes and sizes. Yeah. You know, there's these trends that kind of come and go, and I've always wondered what causes them. Maybe someone's currently yeah. touring with some burst Martin, and so people are seeing it more, and they're going, "Oh, I really like that." It just um, yeah, it just works well with the wood pairing and it does. all that. So beautiful guitar. Chris played it. Um, so let's take a listen.
All right, so there you have it. You said if you uh, like the modern deluxe necks, you'll feel right at home. I feel right at home on this guitar, period. Yeah. Um, this, is, this is my jam. Rosewood, softer spruce, small body, fantastic setup. Um, yeah, this is a really, really great guitar. Yeah, it's beautiful. Also, very nice case with it. Nice mm -hmm. hard shell case that looks and feels a little bit more like the authentic cases. You well, know? you should get a nice case with this numbered series guitar because it is $8,999. Now, to all of the people in our comments that go, why don't you you know, do a better or lower price guitar? We just did a video on a lower price guitar. Yeah. Um, but we also really like high-end guitars. So, uh, you know, j grabbing this, I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why they're high-end guitars. Yeah. Feels great. You know, we've been waiting for this for a long time. It's got a lot of adornments. There's pearl all over the top. Mm -hmm. uh, would you say that's kind of 42-style pearl? Yeah, it's got the fretboard extension, um, which, you know, I like this. I've got two guitars that have kind of the same thing with the fretboard extension and the rosette. Um, and and I don't really like it around the rest of the guitar. Yeah. Um, you know, it's funny though, I forget with the guitars I have that it's on there until I see someone not me playing it. I'm like, oh, it's a pretty yeah. guitar. Pretty guitar. So yeah, I really like that. Um, and then it's not anything beyond that. It's kind of tasteful elegance, I think. Yeah, I just think with the burst, the interesting pick guard style, mm -hmm. pick guard, top pick thing um, with the flora inlay, but then not like a crazy vine going up the top, just the phone style, but then, you know, it's usually when you see, say, Custom Martins at the NAMM show or that other dealers make or whatever, it's like if we're going all in on Pearl, we're doing it 45 style and all up and down the fretboard and all that. Yeah. This is a unique kind of in-between, uh, but the wood pairing, I like that they didn't stain the Guatemalan. It just looks really sharp um, and works well with the burst. Very easy to play and nice sounding. And I think for collectors, it's a, it's a great piece. I do want to talk about the tone on this guitar. Because of the wood pairing, um, I don't think there's anything else in their lineup that has this that you could get. Um, and there's a, there's a certain niceness to it. Guatemala and Rosewood I have found so far to have a kind of a tighter bass response than we typically expect from East Indian Rosewood. So the bass is there, but you can kind of think of one being kind of you know big and one being a little bit you know tighter. Yeah. And the fact that it's European spruce means it's a little softer than Sitka, and that rounds the notes and also makes it easier to play finger style. There's an immediacy that's there, um, and you don't really have to play it that hard. So um, yeah, like I said. This kind of guitar is my jam. Yeah. And you jammed on it. I did. You got a jam. So if you like number 67, you were born in 1967, <laughs> or 67 <laughs> is one of your favorite years in music history. Or you don't care about 67, you or just want the guitar. you are 67 years old. It's a no-brainer. But for <laughs> anybody else that loves good looking and good sounding and good playing Martins, it's, uh, it's here and truly for a limited time because it's not like there's going to be any more of these really available outside of the 100. 100. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, it's neato. All right. So if you're interested, uh, for any of those reasons, you can go to our website, which is? alamomusic.com. Now, if you're looking for other CEO guitars, like the CEO 7, we have access to them. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for other cool things, other bursts, other customs, we're a pretty good place to go for that kind of stuff. So alamomusic.com, look at all the Martins and geek out like we do on all the cool stuff, and uh, yeah, we'll make it happen, you know what I'm saying? With Grizz. <laughs> and the DeVille. Yeah, we'll make it happen, definitely make your dreams come true with whatever guitar uh, suits your needs the most. Um, like this guitar. If you like guitars, uh, you should be watching more of these videos, and you might not be if you're not subscribed, so you should subscribe and turn on notifications so that you know when cool stuff like this happens, because you know what often happens with this guitar? is uh, someone's going to see this and they're going to buy it and then someone else is going to see it later because they didn't have their notifications turned on and then they're going to go, oh, I'd like to buy that and then we're going to go, eh, sorry, someone beat you to it. So turn on those notifications, like our videos and let us know what you think in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.